Cargo Consolidators and NVOCCs Unveiled. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be addressing a common question. Can the Importer Security Filing ISF, be filed by the Cargo Consolidator or the Non-Vessel Operating Common Carrier NVOCC? The ISF is a crucial document in the customs clearance process, so it's important to understand who is responsible for filing it. Let's dive right in and explore the ISF filing responsibilities. Understanding ISF Filing Responsibilities The responsibility for filing the importer security filing ISF, lies with the importer or their authorized agent, such as a customs broker. CBP regulations mandate that the ISF be filed by the party responsible for the importation of the goods into the United States. Cargo consolidators and NVOCCs typically act as intermediaries in the shipping process, handling the consolidation, documentation, and logistics for multiple shipments. Role of cargo consolidators and NVOCCs Cargo consolidators and NVOCCs play a vital role in the shipping process, facilitating the movement of goods from multiple suppliers or shippers. They consolidate shipments, coordinate transportation, handle documentation, and provide logistical solutions for importers. While they have a crucial role in managing the logistics, they are not typically responsible for filing the ISF. Authorized Agent, Customs Brokers To meet the ISF filing requirement, importers often engage the services of a licensed customs broker as their authorized agent. Customs brokers possess the knowledge, expertise, and systems to handle ISF filing on behalf of importers. They navigate the complex customs regulations, provide guidance on compliance, and ensure accurate and timely submission of the ISF to U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP. ISF Information and Responsibilities while cargo consolidators and NVOCCs may play a significant role in gathering and providing the necessary information for the ISF, the responsibility for filing the ISF ultimately rests with the importer or their authorized agent, such as a customs broker. The importer or the customs broker is responsible for ensuring the accuracy and completeness of the ISF information when filing it with CBP. Collaboration and Communication Effective collaboration and communication between importers, cargo consolidators, NVOCCs, and customs brokers are crucial to ensure a smooth ISF filing process. It's important for importers to provide all relevant information to their cargo consolidators or NVOCCs, ensuring the accurate and timely transmission of information to the customs broker responsible for filing the ISF. Advantages of engaging a customs broker Engaging a customs broker as an authorized agent offers several advantages. Customs brokers have specialized knowledge of customs regulations, requirements, and procedures. They can navigate the complexities of ISF filing, ensure compliance, and simplify the customs clearance process. Importers can rely on their expertise to handle the technical aspects of ISF filing, reducing the risk of errors or delays. Legal Responsibility and Liability It's important to note that while cargo consolidators and NVOCCs may play a role in facilitating the logistics, the legal responsibility and liability for ISF filing remain with the importer. Importers are ultimately accountable for the accuracy, completeness, and timely submission of the ISF to CBP. Engaging a customs broker as an authorized agent helps importers fulfill their legal obligations in the ISF filing process. ISF Filing Responsibilities In conclusion, the Importer Security Filing ISF, is generally the responsibility of the importer or their authorized agent, such as a customs broker. While cargo consolidators and NVOCCs play a significant role in the shipping and logistics process, they are not typically responsible for filing the ISF. Importers should engage a customs broker to handle the technical aspects of ISF filing, ensuring compliance with customs regulations and facilitating a smooth customs clearance process. 
Thank you for joining us today as we explored the responsibilities for filing the Importer Security Filing ISF. We hope you found this information valuable and informative. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on international trade. Until next time, happy importing!